Hey, what's going on, guys? <clears throat> Border Patriot here. It was taking me a little while to to get this live thing figured out. It was not letting me live stream for a little there, but uh, it's all good. Looks like we're live. So, um, it's been a while since I've live streamed, so I just wanted to uh, talk to you guys on my way home. How's everybody doing? Um, oh, okay. So, little announcement. I should be going down to uh, to the border fence where they're catching a ton of people crossing. Um, Conservative Anthony, a buddy of mine, he he announced that uh, Border Patrol caught 1,700 people in one day uh, a couple days ago. That's just insane. So 1,700 people in one day were caught crossing. Um, I just wanted to check in with you guys. It's been, it's been a while since I've live streamed, like I said, so figured hey I just got out of work so want to engage with y'all um, I hope everybody has a great Easter weekend a safe weekend uh, like I said I mean I've said it before I'm I didn't make my page to to bash anybody or bring anybody down in fact I really like seeing I like reading the comments on my posts I like seeing uh, my followers engage with each other. It truly does make me happy, and I like reading the comments of you, of you guys engaging with each other. I think that's something very, very cool. Hold on, I might lose connection here because I'm passing the uh, university. Check this out, this uh, university. Right there is Juarez. And this is our freeway. That's what it is. That just goes to show you how close in proximity we are to to what is. It is so crazy how close we are. Um, I didn't even realize it until, I mean, because I grew up here, it, it was just kind of normal. I always knew that we were super close, but until I had family from out of town come, uh, and they're the ones that pointed out, like, wow, you guys are super close to what is. So that was kind of interesting. It, it's kind of funny. We just become so jaded with our everyday surroundings that we forget that it's it's uh it's not the norm for other people do i live in mexico no no i live in el paso texas which is very very close to ciudad juarez uh, which is in the state of chihuahua in mexico but no i i live here in the u.s in el paso i was born here my grandparents came here from uh, from Juarez uh, pretty early on, and my grandpa joined the U.S. Navy and served his country. And he he loves his country. He really does. You know, I think he shows a lot of gratitude for the opportunity that that the country gave him, and you know, he proudly served. So that's kind of where I get my patriotism from. But how's everybody doing today? It's good, uh, it's good being back on live. It had been a while. Oh my God. If, if anybody is from El Paso on here, then you know the traffic, how it's every single day, there's construction every day. Look, they're, uh, they're rebuilding this freeway right here. It's pretty much all desert. We got beautiful mountains though. Our mountains are awesome. There's more uh, construction being done right here. They're expanding our freeways just because they were old and it, it was time, it was most definitely time. But yeah, this, this is a daily thing. Traffic is horrible here. There's accidents every single day here. On every side of town there's construction and the traffic is awful right now. Not in particularly right now, right now, but... How you land going? <clears throat> Thanks for tuning in. Thank you. Um, so for those of you guys just tuning in... Oh, there it is. There's a little print. So look, as you can see, it's uh, they're expanding the freeway right here. So come on. Okay, so like I said, uh, 
this Sunday for not for too long because it's Easter and I want to spend time with my family. Uh, but I will be going down to the, the border fence. Right now, there's a group there called the United Constitutional Patriots, and they are uh, they're camping out there. And they are helping apprehend all the uh, that are coming. Check that out. We just got that here in El Paso. It just opened up. It's a iFly indoor indoor skydiving. I have yet to check that out, but I definitely want to. Yeah, I'll look this out. So right here, that's uh, Ciudad Juarez as well. There's uh, Mount Cristo Rey. That's where a lot of people are crossing. Right in that area, right. Right there in this area. That is where uh, all the apprehensions are happening. They're catching groups of hundreds and hundreds of people every single day. It's just insane what's going on. I don't know if y'all heard, but uh, our neighboring city, we also are on the border of New Mexico. And there's a city there called Las Cruces, New Mexico. And they just announced that they will be using the high school auditorium there to uh, house all the migrants. And a lot of people are pretty mad about that because you know, we don't know what diseases these people are carrying that they're bringing into the country and they're in very poor health. I've seen a lot of videos where the kids are, are coughing real bad. So it's kind of scary what's going on. And uh, they're just volunteering, you know, taxpayer uh, funded buildings to house these people. And that, uh, what I'm talking about, that's in Las Cruces, New Mexico, which is about 35 miles uh, away from from where I live in El Paso. It's a crazy situation that's going on right now. A lot of people are mad about that. But there are a lot of people that want all those people here. They don't care about the people that came here legally because they see them as privileged and, and that they don't need help. But for the people that are being lied to and taking advantage of our asylum loopholes, you know, everybody wants to have a bleeding heart for them. And don't get me wrong, I'm sure some of the people coming are, are good, hard-working people. But right now it's a free-for-all. We don't know who is coming over here, what their motives are. They've already caught uh, some people from terrorist organizations trying to blend in with the, the caravan people and sneak into the country. So it's just a crazy situation that's going on right now. We need to close the asylum loopholes and... Uh, we need immigration reform very, very badly. Okay, uh, Sin Navarro, can you write in the comments, what are some of the diseases that you have seen? Specifically, what are some of the diseases? I'm just curious because I, I do want to know what I'm talking about and I want to know what these people are bringing so i'm not just kind of blindly spouting oh yeah they're they're bringing diseases i know they are but what kind of diseases are they bringing i went there earlier today it was quite delicious i love chick-fil-a shout out to chick-fil-a and uh, i'm gonna be letting you guys go here pretty soon because i'm about to get home so my wife and I are going to go to the gym. I started going back to the gym because... Uh... Okay, so I, I started going back to the gym because when my wife got pregnant with the baby, um, we stopped going and I lost a ton of weight after we stopped going to the gym. Most people gain weight when they, when they don't go to the gym, but I lost a ton of weight after I stopped going. I lost all my muscle mass. Um, the picture where I was modeling the t-shirts that I had made I saw myself and I was like, oh my gosh, I got super super skinny I got very skinny. So I said, you know what? We got to get back in the gym. So we've been going to the gym lately And uh, I'm already seeing some progress I just need to get put more weight on again. I have very thin slim genetics. So
Okay, and speaking of those t-shirts, um, I still have a bunch for sale. I had them custom made. I told the guy exactly how I wanted it. I kind of made a little graphic online. Um, I hired a guy here in El Paso. The shirts are made in the US. They are $20 each. I have large, extra large, and two XLs. <clears throat> I've sold a lot of them already, so thank you guys to whoever bought t-shirts. Thank you guys so much. Please send me pictures of you wearing the t-shirts after you receive them. We started shipping yesterday, so um, I, I take PayPal. If you guys wanted t-shirts, please uh, send me a DM and I'll be more than happy to help you out. But yeah, I've gotten a lot of positive feedback on those t-shirts. People really, really like them on the Viva El Trump t-shirts. So, all right, guys. Well, that's it for me. I'm going to go ahead and let you go. God bless all of you. I hope you have a great weekend. Happy Easter. Everybody rest easy. Bye. I'm signing out.